Welcome to DIY for Homeowners. We're Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're taking two wooden ladders and making an outdoor plant stand. About three years ago at a yard sale, we found these ladders and we were all excited because we're like, ooh, we can make a plant stand with them. Well, three years <laughs> later, we're finally doing it. So come join us as we show you how it all came together. The first step was to remove all the stickers from the ladders. We're using our new favorite plastic razor blades to remove the stickers. We didn't have any sticky residue to deal with, but if we did, we would have used WD-40 to remove it. Next, we clean the ladders, as they've been sitting in the garage for a couple years. We're using two 5.5 by 8 foot pressure-treated fence pickets and three 6 inch by 6 feet pressure-treated fence pickets. Here I'm doing some basic sanding to remove the roughness from the boards. Then we painted the ladders. This is the same Bayer outdoor paint that we used to paint my house a few years ago. We put the 8 foot pickets in place and cut them to size with the circular saw. We didn't want the wood to hang off at all on the ladder, so we just put the ladders in place and then we just eyeballed where to cut the pickets. We painted all the pickets with my front door paint color. Since the legs will be sitting on the ground, we wanted to add some rubber paint to the bottom to help protect the wood. We marked six inches from the bottom with painter's tape. And then we painted two coats of Flex Seal, which turns into rubber coating once dry. We waited a full 24 hours between coats as directed on the label. The reason we went with fence pickets is in case the plants leak, there will be a gap in the middle where the water can drain. We got the pickets in place and then determined where to attach them. On these ladders, there was a metal bar underneath the steps, so we made sure to avoid that when drilling. The best way we found was to clamp the picket to the step and use a spade bit to drill all the way through. Then mom added a bolt and nut to secure the picket to the step. The reason we're using a bolt and nut is we want this to be collapsible. We live in Florida and when a hurricane is headed our way, anything like this that's outside is a big danger and we always want to keep that in mind. We attached all the pickets and at the top we ended up with just one picket as two would have not fit and we didn't want to rip a second one down on the table saw. We carried it to its final location in my yard, got it level on the ground, and started to add some plants. Now if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm taking pictures of the care and maintenance for each plant and storing them on my online Dropbox for future reference. I'm also saving my receipt to my Dropbox as the Home Depot has a one-year plant guarantee. We added some Aztec grass to a planter box for the top shelf. I made some final touches and done. What we learned. We are inside my house now because one of the big reasons we wanted to make these ladders was so that I had a great view outside of the four windows that are here in my living room and that accomplished it perfectly. I love looking at these. Since we put it up, I'm already like, oh, so nice each morning that I open my windows. Now we did have an oops moment in this project and we are going to share that on an upcoming workshop Wednesday and we'll show you what we did and how we fixed it. <laughs> And also, you might not notice, you might not, you might notice that but these ladders are a little bit different in height and they have some different features because they're by different manufacturers. They're generally the same height, so that's why it worked out. But one of the ladders actually has a dowel and the other one doesn't. So we might add a dowel in the future to add the extra support if necessary there towards the middle. If you like this project and want to see more from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and subscribe to our newsletter. We send out an email once a week with all our latest projects in with this. So come join us and show you how it all came together. Okay. I feel distracted. Up by the dog? 